This is the Cybex Balios S, and today we're going to show you how to fold this, both with the seat facing forward as well as reversed, and also give you some tips on how to get it to be as small as possible in case you're going on a trip or something and space is a bit of an issue. So when you have the seat facing forward, the bad Balios is actually set up such that it can fold with the seat attached and also set up such that it can uh, achieve a standing function. So it's a little bit easier when you're just folding it down to throw into your car. Now there is a, something you have to do it to get that standing function and that is to lock the wheels facing forwards, which uh, in case you don't know is not good for driving. Uh, if you wanna drive with your front swivel wheels locked, you should have locked them when they're facing backwards. But I'm gonna show you later how to lock the front wheels when I'm also showing you how to take them off. For now, assuming you have locked the front wheels, if you want to get that standing function and you have the seat facing forward, in order to fold it, you're going to pull back your canopy. You're going to lift up on the lever here in the back, which adjusts the various positions of the seat. And you're just going to flip the entire assembly forwards. Then up on the handle here, you have this button in the middle, which adjusts the height of the handle. But on the top of the handle, you also have a slider, which unlocks the folding mechanism. So what you want to do is take your thumb and slide that slider over and then pinch in on that button and then push this down and you kind of got to give it a little bit of a shove at the bottom to activate the mechanism. So all the way in and then it goes down into lock position. And you'll notice there's a little clip here on the inside of the handle that's going to lock onto a peg and make it so it's not going to unfold. Uh, in addition, now that it's in the standing uh, sort of a setup, here at the bottom of the seat they've cleverly uh, engineered a handle so that it's easier for you to lift up. Yeah. In order to unfold it out of this position, uh, and really any position, it's just a matter of pulling that clip forward so it pops off that peg, and then it's just going to fold back up. You can adjust the handle to the height you like, and then pull the seat into the position you like. It'll just lock into place, the bumper bar will lock into place, and then you can just adjust the footrest as you like. With the seat uh, in the reverse face facing position, you will need to remove the seat unit before you fold down the chassis. There are two buttons here, they're memory buttons, so you can click in one and then the other, and that allows you then to remove the entire seat frame. And then we're just gonna fold down the chassis in the same manner we did before, slide that slider over and pushing that button, give it a nice shove, and it'll all lock down into that position. Okay, now I wanted to show you how to get this stroller as small as possible in case you're going on a trip or something and uh, you need to pack the trunk kind of tightly. So one little tip with this is to start with the seat facing forwards and then use that like fold with the seat attached collapse because that's the only way to get all the portions of the seat to fold in tightly together. The activation trigger for releasing this uh, is like only activated when the seat is actually attached to the stroller. So if you have the seat facing forwards and then fold the whole thing down and then just push down on this back bit, you'll get it as flat and compact as possible. Then click in your memory buttons and slide your bit off. And again, you wouldn't get this to release otherwise because here are the activation triggers and it's quite hard to do that symmetrically without it on the stroller. So that's how you get the seat to be as small as possible. When it comes to the chassis, the key tip is of course, removing the wheels. So I'm just gonna fold it down as it folds, and then I'm gonna show you how to remove both the front and the rear wheels. So now when it comes to the back wheels, the release trigger is right here under the stroller itself. You just press in on this little button here, it's like a seesaw, push in, and you can pull off the back wheels. And then when it comes to the front wheels, it's actually a little bit difficult to remove them but uh, you wanna take a flathead screwdriver or a butter knife and right here above the swivel lock, I did wanna show you swivel lock by the way, that's about getting the standing function again. So it's just this little white thing that goes back and forth. It does lock both front ways and back ways. And again, you want it front ways if you want that standing function. But anyway, uh, right above or while it's upside down like this, underneath that swivel lock is going to be a little metal um, bit that pokes out. And that's actually the release trigger. So you're going to need something small and flat to easily access it. You just want to press it in and then you can pull out the front wheels. There we go. So now that you've removed the wheels and folded down the seat as much as possible, you now have the optimal use of space if you're packing this in a trunk or something. So in any case, that's our guide to folding the Cybex Valios S. We hope this video has been useful to you. And if it has been, we ask that you subscribe as it helps us continue making videos in the future. Thank you.